Welcome to the Between Two Wheels podcast, where we talk about all things on and between two wheels. I'm your host, Johnny Roebuck, and you all know my co-host, Justin. I hate to break it to you, but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed bird. And uncle, I speak in all caps, Ken. This episode is being brought to you by Get Lowered Cycles, your source for all the parts and gear you need for your Harley. Today, we are going over our favorite episodes or moments of 2019 and talking about the plans for 2020. First, kicking this off around Project Clean Slate. In 2019, we raised nearly $1,000 for Project Clean Slate. We are still short of our goal of $10,000 to start the build. If you'd like to help with this project, we have multiple options available. Becoming a patron. For those who truly enjoy the show and want to help on a monthly basis, you can become a patron for as little as $4 a month. (laughs) Ken is playing with my Legos right now. Thank you for that. Just stepping all over what I'm trying to say here. I was being quiet. (laughs) (laughs) Pew, 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 pew. (laughs) Um, Another option you can do is enter to win a... The Color Match Saddlebags, our good friends over at Advent Black, have donated a set of Color Match Stretched Saddlebags for your Harley. Don't have a touring bike? That's okay, too. If you are the winner, you could order these bags in Vivid Black and sell them for a profit on eBay, or you could give them as a gift to your family or friends. At only $20 an entry, it's hard to pass this up. Another option, shop using our discount code at Get Lowered as well as our links. So whenever we post products that we are using or that we are talking about on the show, we try our hardest to locate the products on either Get Lowered or Amazon and provide that product link. That product link provides the show with a little bit of a commission to help us with Project Clean Slate and there's no added cost to you. The final way that you can help with Project Clean Slate is with a one-time donation. If you'd simply like to help where when you can or where you can you can simply use the saddlebag link and donate any amount you choose if you donate more than twenty dollars however you will also be entered for your chance to win saddlebags Uh, the key thing to remember around all of project clean slate and anything that has to do with our podcast we are doing this out of our pocket And when I say our pocket, I mean my pocket. Every dime that it takes, so from the equipment to the hosting to the website, it's all paid from Roblox, my pocket. And every dime we bring in goes to Project Clean Slate. So if you donate via Patreon, if you donate by buying or I'm sorry, from doing a one-time donation, or if you donate simply by um, sending us a one-time donation, you will also receive a tax write-off for charitable giving since we are a nonprofit organization. So head over to betweentwowheels.com. The two is spelled out T-W-O. Click the Project Clean Slate link and choose which direction you would like to take today. What's going on, guys? That was a super weird flex. Yeah, it was. How long did that um, that X wing take you to build? Um, about two hours. Okay, so so just for the record, we do know that he has time to drop off his dirt bike. He's just not yeah. doing it. Okay, yeah. Just want to make sure that that was covered. Dude, I did that thing like seven months ago. Yeah, yeah about the same time you bought the dirt bike, I guess. When, when, when did you put that Harley together? The Lego Harley. Oh, that I and, did that. And the, the James Wiki. Bond and the, and the Aston and Martin the architecture one. And yeah. What do you guys gotta hate? Well, I'm not hating. Just Jesus. you know, it's all in good in good fun. Just pointing out, mm. you know, facts. I'd expect the same from you. So yeah, you you get the same from me. Exactly. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> so happy New Year, guys! It Yay. is a new year. New year, new decade, new month. We made a revolution. Yeah, <laughs> around the sun. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, all right. So, Uncle Ken, do you want to go into any news that you have? Any (laughs) possible updates? I may have made a substantial purchase. A substantial? What's substantial? I may have bought a Road Glide Limited. You may have. You do realize that anyone who follows you or the podcast... (laughs) But see, if they don't follow me, 
then they should go look and follow me on Instagram. All right. So Uncle Ken. 0330? Yeah. Okay. That's me. At Uncle Ken 0330. Yep. Hey, Roblox, do you have any significant news for us? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, He's you, not special. You're keeping that secret? No, no. I, I bought a new bike today. <laughs> Uh, but, but no one, no one's surprised by that. He could not. No one's shocked by that. He could not stand having the oldest bike. As soon as you traded in, he's like, oh, fuck. Well, no, Brad still has the oldest bike. No, but I mean most <laughs> recent purchase. Oh. Brad will almost always have the oldest bike. Well, Ken actually fucked all of this up because he went on his own by himself. <laughs> we were talking about this. We were going to go together and see so, if we could work out a better deal. So I went and I just wanted them to give me a price on my bike. Mm-hmm. And they gave me a ridiculous number, a good number, but a ridiculous one for it. Yeah. And I double checked with Rumble On, which that's a whole separate issue it, dealing with them. Mm-hmm. They offered me only 9500 for my bike. Okay. So it was a 2015 Road Glide, not the special, with the 103, 20,000 miles on it. And they gave me, they offered me 9500 Okay. Harley was much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Much more than that. Well, that's good. I'm just so mad at when you guys did it because I went into Harley and dropped like almost three hundred dollars yeah. on parts. Yeah, and then like the very next week or like two the, in the next two weeks, both you go and buy a bike, and I get credit for that. But yeah. I've already spent the money, <laughs> so I could have paid off those parts. They don't. They this sounds a whole in, lot like a you problem. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> they told yeah. me you don't get the referral on me. Since when? So he got one on me. So they said that you don't get the referral because I'm an existing customer. Oh, that's bullshit. He still got the so, referral from me. So was Brad, and I've gotten all his. And so is Hasso. You might want to bring something up. Oh, I will. Yeah, I will for sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> I asked, and that's oh, what I was told. Yeah. No. Well, who that, told you that, though? It's got to be Sam. It was. Yeah, because Hank writes them without any question. Yeah. So, so yeah. But, yeah, got the 2020 Road Glide Limited. And what do they call it? Barracuda silver. Yeah. yeah. And Barracuda silver denim and black. Denim yeah. black. I went all black. 100% yeah. black. Uh, but yeah, I have, I have some cool ideas of where I would like to take the bike as far as the d- design. To the left side of the trailer? <laughs> yep. No. Goodbye. My bike goes on the easy. right side of the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked hard. <laughs> but no. Um, so you're going to be putting out a poll coming up pretty soon around naming your bike, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to do that tonight. On um, Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. So, so by the time they hear this, over. it'll already be over. <laughs> Way over. Oh, well, that's too bad. But, I, I mean, I'll tag Justin in, in between two wheels in it. Okay. That way you can get a little bit of, you know, more eyes on it. But I had some good suggestions in there. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the, uh, the Silver Fox... Was I like a, the Silver Fox. Was a suggestion the <laughs> Silver Hammer. Mm. Uh, someone said Molner. Molner? Was, that the, was it Thor's Hammer? What the hell is Thor's Hammer's name? I, don't I know. didn't know it had a name. Yeah. Tracy would be the one to answer that. She's yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's way more than a Thor's Hammer. Uh, Silver, <laughs> Silver Sloth. <laughs> She'd probably like to get hammered by him. Silver <laughs> Sloth, Bombshell, Warthog. Uh, the, Battle Donkey, the Battle Donkey's better looking cousin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I forget the abbreviation for that one. D- doesn't quite roll off the tongue. TBD s- BLC. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any suspension for yours yet? No. No? You got to go with Legends, man. Got to go with Legends. Probably will end up that way. Just for right now, I didn't want to fuck with it. <sighs> do, it. <laughs> do it. 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 But yeah, it's uh, super stoked. I won't see the bike until next week. They had to go... <laughs> they had to find it. It, it was the only out. one in the state that was available. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a black bike. It's crazy. The black only on fucking black. one. Yeah, they're not getting, getting more until May. Yeah, so it's black on black. So it's the black finish with the vivid black color. But there's tons of those available. Yeah, but none of them have the RDRS system. Oh, so I figure if I'm going to be buying a 2020. And I want something really good to complain about. I have to get the RDRS <laughs> so that I can truly test out the newest technology from Harley. I mean, when I went on my test ride, I, I you tested. It I out? tried to play with some of the features, mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh, 
like when if you downshift too fast, you know how you lock your rear tires a little bit. Can't do it. Damn. I tried twice. Can't do it. That makes wheelies a bitch. Well, you turn well wheelies. You just turn traction control off. Oh, that's true. You just oh, turn you can turn that off. Yes. And you, you can, have like different rider modes too. Well, for track, you can so you have traction control with RDRS, and you can turn that off. Mm-hmm. If you in, or leave it on all the time, and if you just press the button once, you put it in rain mode. Okay. So that helps you know if you twist the throttle. You know, it tells you, nope. Yep. <laughs> I'm assuming you can't turn off ABS. Still. No, can't turn off ABS. Damn it. But no, I gotta find a way to bypass that. Disconnect it. No, I want it to be able to, to flip on and off. I want to put it on like a, a switch. We just need a, a relay switch. I'm uh, just afraid that if you flip it off, it's going to trigger something in the ECU. Oh, it probably would. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll I know you'll get a warning it'll if throw your a ABS is not working properly, but I'm curious... If you were able to, you know, put it back on, if it would automatically fix itself. I don't or know. If you'd it's have to get definitely going to throw a code. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. It flipped a code when I had my uh, bearings on the wrong side. Yeah. My ABS bearings. So. Hmm. So. Oh, yeah. It'll definitely throw a code. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. Um, so, Ken, how are you doing your break in? We had an episode about <laughs> this. Let's. You have a brand new bike. I mean, I'm just kind of riding it. Yeah. I mean, that just. I'm just riding it. Yeah. So, Break-ins I mean, are a fucking myth. So, of course, you know, Harley says you should do it this way. Oh, you know, of course. The, the, the baby at way for 500 miles. Yeah. So, eh, I mean, I'm just riding it. I mean, I'm not. You don't romp on bikes much anyways. No, I'm not sitting there at stoplights. Rev tr- bombing. With rev bombs. and. <laughs> You're not one of those assholes? No. <laughs> no, I know my bike's running. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else? You know. Because I'm, I'm trying to get as much of the beans spilled here as we can. You also got the big board, didn't you? Stage oh, three. yeah. Yeah, I did. So I got the stage three ordered, so I got to hit my 1,000 miles as soon as possible so that I can get that installed. Is that where you're going to college station? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just looking for places to go and ride outside of the city. Like, yeah, shit. I, I mean, I can only ride like 10 miles at a time in town. You know, it's yeah. like, that'll take for fucking ever. Yeah. Well, what if you just did the 1604 loop? I actually thought about that. Do it like 20 times. <laughs> Well, I mean, the 1604 loop is what? It's what, 400 miles? If you do the entire loop, it's... Mm-mm. It can't it, be that far. I think the I thought 46 was... loop is close to that. Okay, maybe that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, one of the loops is like fucking 400 miles or some shit. Yeah. No, if you go do the 46 loop, you only have to do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, got the got the stage three ordered. All Screaming Eagle so I can keep my warranty because mm-hmm. I'm one of those guys. Yeah. I mean, warranties do work. My last bike, I had two or three warranty issues that mm-hmm. were covered that's good so i mean hey warranty pay from the, it's like the tire uh tire and wheel protection plan i used that thing twice mm-hmm. and at 50 bucks well even though well, the tire and wheel is is no cost if you warranty no wait warranty is no cost tire and wheel is 50 deductible wow oh, okay so that saved my ass twice having that thing mm. definitely paid for itself oh hell yeah and then yep so I went on to getlowered.com and ordered my uh, Legend suspension, front and rear, at the Revo Arcs. And, uh, Are found those ones with the piggybacks? Yes. Okay. And found out that uh, Get Lowered does offer a military discount. Yes, but Five you have dollars. to contact them. Yep. It's a 5% military discount, but you have to contact them to get that code. That's good. So you can use that for your discount. You also use uh, B2W Podcast, and you get free shirt. free shirt on anything over 100 bucks. Yep. So, yeah, going big. I'm curious how that bracket on the piggyback will work with the tour pack. So, you're talking about the one that's mounted under the tour pack? Yeah. You can't do it unless you have the four-point docking hardware. So, if, you, you, if you're running a detachable tour pack or you have the four-point docking hardware, you can use that upper mounting bracket. It's like 250 bucks, and it mounts it up high. If you have a fixed tour pack like I have now... They don't have that yet. I contacted Legends through email, and they said they are working on it, but they don't have it out yet. So I'll just have to mount it down low. Oh. Where it, it mounts between the fender and the saddlebag on the saddlebag uh, support arm. Uh, okay. Or if or. we knew someone that could fabricate. I was going to say my welder's up and running now. Oh, see, and I was thinking moose. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to look nice. That's fair. <laughs> um. 
All right, so that's been fun catching up, but let's actually go talk about this episode. Let's go over the 2019 favorite moment or episodes. I think all of us kind of went a little loose on definition of episode or favorite moment. So What's a moment? Well, it is, but there's a lot of moments then. Yeah. Uh, so, Ken, let's start with you. How does one define a moment? Uh, you just got real philosophical all of a sudden. Yeah, it's all relative. Kind of, kind of drug me down a little bit there. Nice, but I shouldn't anyways, drag you down. It's so I'm going to backtrack <laughs> to what I enjoyed. So for me, I mean, I enjoyed all our episodes. I mean, there was a couple that were kind of bad. One through eight, and then the sixteen that we didn't record. Yeah. So my mine is all the fuck ups. <laughs> all <laughs> the ones we didn't record. <laughs> all, when when shit just doesn't go right, roadblock can't fucking talk. That's 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 what I really enjoy. Yeah. And of course, you know, there's the ones that people can hear and see, you know, but the ones that they can't see are usually always pretty good. And those are usually the episodes that don't get recorded because everything is fucked. <laughs> and we don't know about it. I don't know about it until after we've recorded. It. Oh yeah, we'll get we'll get a message and be like, Oh yeah, that that, that episode didn't work. And we're like, What the fuck do you mean it didn't work? He's like, Oh, it's fucking gone. It's, it's in space, a, it's yeah. disappeared. Yeah. It's all, it's all white noise. Yep. I can only hear one person. We sound like we're in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as irritating as that can be in the moment, being able, you know, looking back on it, it's pretty fucking funny, and I enjoy that. that that's how you know you're with good friends. For example, I, I'm going to bring this up in a second, but like the Big Ben trip, riding at fucking oh, pitch fucking black, hell. 40 degrees, wildlife running at us from every direction, and all of us just had the biggest grins on our face when we got to the... <laughs> <laughs> to where we were going. Oh, yeah. We survived. <laughs> we survived. Yeah. yeah. We, made <laughs> we made We'll it. never forget those moments. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and and honestly, kind of taking a step back from the topic, but it's relevant. That's what this is all about. Writing, being bikers, building the relationship so you can go out and have these memories that you're making with what will end up becoming or if they're not already your best friends oh y'all are absolutely my best friends i mean i know for a fact that if that if middle of the night as long as i could get a hold of you one one of y'all or your wives would come and help yep yeah i even said that i did an interview earlier this week for another podcast and uh, he asked about the group if we if we hung out outside the videos. I'm like, dude, I could call, I could put a message in that group chat at 5 a.m. and I would have it. Like you said, as long as they read it, I would have at least three people responding. Like, yeah, yeah. in no time. I mean, even if it's m- middle of the night, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I see my phone little indicator light is flashing, yeah, I'll look at it. And if it's a message, then I then I actually stop and read it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shit, I don't go to bed till midnight, one two I mean, o'clock I mean, in the morning. Me anyways, either. So, so I mean, yeah. unless you're trying to get a hold of me between like one or two a.m. and like nine ish in the morning, mm-hmm. I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but like I said, I'll wake up, I'll see my light flashing, and it irritates me that it's just sitting there flashing. So you have to check it. So most of the time, it's me, you know, swiping to clear the mm-hmm. notifications. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, yeah, I'll see it. Oh, it's a message from my mom. Uh, okay, that's yeah, not important whatever. right now. You know. So I have my do not disturb in emergency mode. So you have to call me twice, I think it's within three times, three times within five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just going to let you guys know that after 11 p.m., my phone automatically goes into yep. do not disturb because of work. So if y'all need to get in, get through, actually, no, y'all would be fine. Because um, on the iPhones, I think you can do it on yours. You can set up a list yep. that are guaranteed. Yeah, the emergency to get list. Through. Yeah. So I have the two of you, Hasso, Brad, and Tracy and my, my my dad yeah on that list so oh that's so getting y- fucking gay y'all made that cut so Justin let's hear about your 2019 favorite my favorite episode are oh I technically I only picked one mm-hmm. because the Big Ben one was technically it was like December 20th of 2018 or yeah 2018 so yeah. it didn't cut make the cut for 19 but the, the recap episodes for this year would be Arkansas and, you know, the bring it home ride and things mm-hmm. like that. Uh, basically, anywhere, any story where we just tell stories about what we did. Yeah. And I like those episodes for a couple reasons. Uh, first off, I don't have to do any research, so that's great. Well, 
You do research? Yeah, yeah. I don't do research. Yeah. You did for the scooter episode. Cause you're, you're, <laughs> That's because I had to. Because I, I wasn't was, here. <laughs> you were I had to. I was fucking floored. These things can go that fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, I think they're just entertaining. I think mm-hmm. they do well. Uh, and it's also, it's just, you know, BSing with your buddies. And uh, it's creating content without actually having to work for it. Yeah. See, like when I'm at those events, I'm constantly thinking like, okay, am I getting these shots? How is this going to play out? Is this going to be, you know, is the continuity going to be there? How's my audio recording? My battery's good. Like there's so many things on top of, you know, trying to enjoy the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Then you hand me the camera and I'm like, <laughs> this button, this button, aim it this way. Just, just point and shoot. <laughs> there's a reason why I, I got a point I, and shoot camera. I, I am mindful. I will tell you this. I am mindful of my heartbeat. And shaking. You were a lot more mindful of uh, the vehicle that we couldn't show than my wife was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, st- I started seeing the blurred out. I was like, yeah, I think Alicia had it at that point. Yeah. Like, and the only reason I had to look that way was that's where she was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, but uh, then I tried to move. Yes. So. <laughs> at least she backed up. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, those, those are my favorite episodes just because it's, it's kind of like reliving the moment. Mm-hmm. But also creating content. So and it's, so it's kind of like this episode, basically. Like yeah. we didn't have to really do any research for this. No. A little bit of sit there, think. Yeah, yeah. That's hard enough sometimes. And we had a whole like twenty-seven hours to yeah. make the show notes. That's a record time. Yeah. So, hey guys, I'll have these ready by Monday, most likely. Nope. <laughs> Thursday at two. <laughs> <laughs> it's nope. A, it's still got <laughs> nope. done. <laughs> um, I would say my. So my favorite episodes or episode types were first every episode. Oh, that's first. Yeah, not fist. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, no. I was thinking God. like fist. Like, what are we talking about? Fist. <laughs> There's videos for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, a whole other category. Yeah. So first, every episode that came out after we got the new microphones and the mixer, the sound quality drastically increased. Oh, people can't qu- quit bitching. They, I haven't received any. Well, <laughs> me specifically, <laughs> uh, I haven't received too many. We had a couple episodes that got a little fuckered, and I had to do my best to correct them in post. But other than that, though, I would say the sound quality has gotten a lot better. So that that's my favorite. Um, and then secondly, I would have to say I really enjoy our interview episodes the best. And they can be fun with that. It's a toss up (laughs) between two interviews that we published, which was the Chris Moose interview and the honor honorary one and honorary Uh, squad. Damn it. There he goes again. Um, I see something has ball bearings in his mouth. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, but both of those, I think the reason I like those two the most is because they were here in person. Yeah. And it's just, it felt a lot more like we were just having a conversation with them and not going through our show notes and looking at our outline to make sure we're hitting all of the questions. Because we kind of just BS. free-flowed, yep. especially yeah. with Chris. Holy crap. Yeah, that dude can talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he can. Yeah. How about, you know, Panini Press? Panini Press. <laughs> Panini Press. Oh, my God. <laughs> if y'all ever get a chance, y'all need to go uh, contact Moose. Yeah, uh, you know he's on Instagram, and uh, ask him to tell you about a panini press. Yeah, <laughs> just just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, so that's that's kind of where my mind was when I think back. I do love our story time episodes. I I think we we get a lot of positive feedback from those. But for me personally, of actually just doing it, I really enjoy the interviews because I actually do enjoy that research. And like with Ryan Erlocker, I did a bunch of research yeah. to make sure that it showed too. Like even yeah. he was shocked like, of some of the questions. Yeah, it's kind of kind of like hot ones when you're like, "Oh fuck, how did you how know did that?" You find that? <laughs> <laughs> the internet has everything. Yeah, I, I I have a master's degree in Google search, <laughs> so I'm I'm actually pretty good with it. So that was last year. Let's talk about this year. What are some of the plans for 2020 for both the podcast and Between Two Wheels as a whole, as well as for each of us? So I'll kick this one off since this was my 
my brainchild here. Good, you also have yeah, like half like a book fucking on there. four paragraphs there. <laughs> <laughs> compared, so, compared to what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, I want to ride. <laughs> yeah, they would do stuff. I like motorcycles. I'm motorcycles. <laughs> so for Between Two Wheels, I plan to make more content than just the podcast and the videos of the podcast. Um, I'm also planning to get YouTube exclusive content. So that translates into we're going to be doing videos Ooh. that won't be specify. We <laughs> right. That's you, not in my contract. Hey, hey, Uncle Ken, are you, are you busy today? <laughs> you, you two fucktards are <laughs> included as the royal we because the two of y'all will probably be in all of them. Yeah. You won't have to edit any of them. Oh, I'm not editing any of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the focus will still be on motorcycles, but probably more from the biker perspective, the everyday people, or to completely walk all over Connor's podcast concept, I'll be focusing on some real ass people. <laughs> uh, if you have never heard of the Real Ass People podcast, look it up. It's a fun show, and they even had Uncle Ken and I on there for an episode. So can, can I take this time to apologize to Connor for being a complete dick at Twisted Root? Because by the time he showed up, that double crown on an empty stomach was way deep in my system. I mean, that was really so. That was really like a triple. Yeah, it was like a triple the, the, and a half. The way she poured it. <laughs> so sorry, Connor. I apologize for not being a more personable person, but I was trying to stay upright in my chair <laughs> and also focus on eating my burger. <laughs> okay, so go check that out. He's a friend of the show. Great guy. Great, great human being. And he loves funny. dogs. So funny. And he's got like 100 dogs. Oh, yeah, so. he does. <laughs> yeah, and he needs to get his ass up here so he can down fucking, here. Whatever. <laughs> Don't get fucking semantics with me. So, he, yeah, he needs to get his ass up here so he can fucking get this tour pack and lowers off my hand. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, back to the podcast thing that we're doing here. Uh, for the show, I think we... We will still focus on collaborating with other content creators and influencers um, who are keeping the pulse on the motorcycling as a sport, but like we did with uh, Adam Sandoval, John Maxwell, Ryan Urlacher, Shade Tree. But for Between Two Wheels Television, I want to get writer stories, um, changes they are seeing, and really focusing on younger writers. Um, for other content, I think it would be good to also show some of the behind the scenes antics we get up to and show more about who we are uh, when we're not talking into microphones and cameras. So kind of more of that candid. Yeah. Type that stuff's of thing. so hard to capture, but when it's done right, it's so good. Yeah. I that's, mean, that's our, what Alicia is trying to do with my channel is kind of show the what happens when we're not recording type of thing. But it's funny because you're showing what happens when you're not recording as you're recording as you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why it's really hard. Well, it's like when, you know, when we were doing all that work on like the Dyna at your old place. Oh, yeah. You know, I would try and snap pictures and send them to you because you're caught up in Everything. your creation. Yeah. And, you know, nobody else sees <laughs> You acting a fool doing something <laughs> or something fucking off the wall happens and you've got something stuck in your helmet or whatever, you know. Yeah. So those are the types of things. Like our game nights. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Is that legal? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, there's some, some, <laughs> so fast. Some incriminating stuff goes down there. <laughs> I know how to edit some shit out. <laughs> Lots of blurs. You'll see a bunch of blurs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that type of stuff is what I'm really wanting to go after. Um, so yeah. Um, the other piece of that is I've resolved to move between two wheels from just being a podcast and us becoming a, more of a media company. And again, when I say company, we are a nonprofit corporation. Between Two Wheels Podcast is a nonprofit. So anything we can do to, one, bring in money for Project Clean Slate and anything that we can do to make our listeners and viewers' lives either more entertained or better in some form. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, do you finally, remember, do you remember that story where that woman was going cross country giving out blowjobs? I must have missed that one. I'd have signed up. Yeah, I was in Austria or something. But oh uh, fuck, that's what came to mind when when he said that. Yeah, just free handies. 
Blowjobs for veterans. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. B- BJFE. There's a, there, there's, there's a chick in Florida, a retired porn star that does that. Uh, uh, Blowjobs for veterans. Look it up. <laughs> I'm purposely interjecting in this <laughs> just so people can get pissed that you talked for an hour. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Um, also, I'm considering going back into writing. So I used to have two, quote, popular blogs around privacy and security for lay people. Oh, you said writing. Writing. I, th- I thought you said writing, and I'm like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you could sh- write more. You should write more. <laughs> then, then we could write more, make more content. God damn. <laughs> we didn't agree to just have this episode just be aimed at your forehead, but I like how it's going. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Assholes. But so, uh, but yeah so yeah that's what I, that's what it is and I'm gonna start doing more product reviews in written format um, if it's something that we absolutely fucking hate um, I'll do a write up on it I don't want to waste the time doing a video yeah, uh, yeah. however may still do a video so people can see about how why fucking terrible have to read yeah yeah people yeah. Ha- people hate to read. Yeah. So, uh, also this year we will see the podcast cross the epic hundred thousand download mark, okay. which, if my forecast is correct, should occur before June. Nice. We'll, we'll see. So we just so y'all know we hit eighty thousand downloads uh, this week. Hell yeah! Damn. So we are rocking and rolling with that. So, uh, anyways, I have a. a I currently have a bunch of ideas for videos that I would like to do. So hopefully I can get a master class from Justin on proper video editing, because let's face it, I fucking suck at video editing and thumbnails. <laughs> He's gotten better. You have to give credit. For credit. Yeah. My thumbnails are lot complete garbage today. I didn't They're say, not the worst. I didn't say they were complete garbage, but, but, I, I've but obviously seen worse. there's, you know, you could do better. <laughs> Jesus. Look, and, you know, I don't, and I don't even make when, thumbnails. When Justin tells me, dude, that's fucking hideous, that's constructive criticism <laughs> <laughs> because I see the work that he has put out. But yeah, so you, copy sir, that. <laughs> but yeah, you should copy that. <laughs> Fuck you. Justin, go ahead, buddy. Uh, I just want to want you to know, I take about 30 minutes for each thumbnail, so it's, it's not fucking easy. All right, so for 2020, I mean... I hate to sound like every female on Facebook, but I've got big plans and expectations. Mm, for new year, new me. Yeah, new year, new me. <laughs> uh, so, top of my list is I want to complete a or compete in a full season of the Texas Off Road Championship Series, also called uh, Torque, um, and hopefully compete for a season title. I feel like with the upgrades I've made to the bike and the progress I've made on the bike. And, you know, with them being such a big organization with very drilled down classes, <laughs> you know, first in the lowest group is still a first place trophy. But yeah. uh, <laughs> fair enough. Set that bar low. Man. Yeah. And I am I am a, a very big proponent of uh, reachable goals. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also have a stretch goal, but some people reach for the stars. Justin reaches for the cabinet. Well, you you got to know that we'll never see another star. So once you understand the true distance of the stars, you realize it's not worth reaching for them. No. You'll never get there. For all you people who don't realize, that's a <laughs> science comment. <laughs> Dude, you want to know nerd, how nerd, much of a fucking nerd, nerd, nerd I am? Nerd, <laughs> nerd. So after IMS on Saturday, on Sunday, we went to the Perot Museum there in Dallas. I so want to fucking go to that. Dude, it's so cool. But we went to the Space Hall, and we left there, and I was like, I didn't fucking learn anything in there. Like, because we're, we're so <laughs> fucking involved in, this, in just space that we knew literally everything in the space hall so fucking nerds uh but anyways going back to that um i'm focusing a lot more on my fitness as opposed to just weight loss this year uh it's funny because i put i plan on running a 5k just because on this plan uh, mostly because i listened to a podcast that talked about how humans were made to run long distances mm. and then i started running and i fucked up my knee in like two weeks <laughs> it's already 
kill it. You do that. So. Uh, there's a program, uh, Couch to 5K. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll check that out. And, and it's literally about going from being completely sedentary on the couch to, com- to completing your first 5K. Nice. I'll have to look into that. I ran, I ran my first 10-minute mile, and then the very next day, like, my knee was done. So might have to look into that. Anyways, uh, 2020 will be my, the year of my first solo bike trip. I'm um, covering seven states in seven days. Wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, well, let's, let's well, hear about this. Well, what is this? This is the first we're hearing about this. Yeah, it's I'm spilling beans here. You guys dropped fucking new bikes. I mean, I have to drop some. That's just a fucking bike. You're leaving <laughs> us for seven days on a bike ride. It's actually nine days. And, oh, and we weren't invited. <laughs> no, because the reason With I... With my new bike. <laughs> so it, it's funny that, that y'all get like this because my mom got the same way when she found out I was inviting my dad. She's like, but he's retired and you guys can have such a, a she nice wants house, She wants him out of the house, though. She wants him out of the house, though. sick of him. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> but the reason I want to do a solo trip is because, one, I've never done it. Two, I've heard a lot of people say it's a completely new experience. And three, I want a a challenge when it comes to my videos. Mm. Because when it's when it's a group, I have so many crutches. I've got the group conversations, I've got the hijinks behind the scenes, I've got dildos being stuck on bikes, I've got, you know, shots of you guys with drones. I've got so many crutches. With this, it's gonna be nine days on the road with me and myself and I. Mm. And that's it. Okay, so from a video aspect of it, okay, that Completely makes sense. Completely a video aspect. So I was like, dude, I mean, it's not hard to fucking take a trip. Oh no no no! By no. yourself, I mean, I've done no. it. <laughs> no, but uh, I've seven got days and seven states. Seven states and seven days, but then I'll take another two days to get back. Okay. So each day will be a new state, and then I'll come back. Okay. Yeah, because the first day is just getting out of Texas. Yeah, the first day is Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping my leg short because I, I want to, I don't want to just ride all day and then well, go to the hotel and sleep. As the shortest guy in this room, your legs are short. Yeah. But uh, I'm only doing like 400 mile days, like nothing oh, nothing okay. stupid. It's not terrible. Yeah, I don't want to ride more than eight hours a day. I'm kind of thinking of it as a job. That way, when I get to the town, I can still have time to visit the town and see whatever there is to see there. Uh, I've got museums planned down, national parks, all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, yeah, just a video challenge. Cool. Um, continuing on with the channel, I'll be finishing the Chubby Shuttle this year, probably by summer if everything goes to plan, and uh, more likely than not, getting another bike and starting another build, just because that's how things go. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a sixth if Project Clean Slate hits its goal. You need to get a monkey, oh, big bore kit. That. Hundred plus miles an hour. That would be fun. Hmm. Yeah, I really like that that little. Um, I think it was called War Monkey. That little custom yeah. mini bike. That thing was badass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also plan on focusing on my welding and fabrication abilities, mm-hmm. which could possibly open up um, numerous opportunities. Uh, I actually talked with my wife last night, and we kind of brainstormed some ideas. To it might kind of venture off into its own channel because I don't think I'm going to want to you know, put that much content, welding content onto my current channel. And she also wants to get involved in the videos and stuff like that. So it might kind of be a, a collaboration type channel. Uh, basically what we want to do is kind of take the, the concept of trash to treasure. We want to go to garage sales and estate sales, mm-hmm. take something old and then make it into something new. Okay. So of, it may not just be the welding. It could also be like woodwork things like that not so much we want to focus on metal work okay uh, but i'm talking about like taking old tools and making them into lamps or oh okay tables and all kinds of stuff but we want to do a like a almost like a 24 hour time limit because like you know like you watch those renovation shows and they do it all in a week or whatever we kind of want to have that concept of we wake up super early hit all these estate sales get our supplies go back draft up some ideas and then make it all in one episode oh that's cool and then okay Depending on, we might sell it for profit for the channel. We might sell it for a donation to a certain cause, something like that, depending on. Because uh, when we were looking at estate sales, we noticed that a lot of these are like old war veterans and things like that. And it's just so sad to see that. So it'd be really cool to take their old stuff, turn it into something new that someone else can appreciate, and then donate the money to a cause of some sort. Like and knowing that they would fucking it. hate it that you did that to them. Oh, stuff. for sure. Yeah. But. <laughs> It's better than it just sitting in the closet. But they're dead, so who cares? Yeah. yeah. I uh, We were thinking of names, and I thought of funeral fabrications. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought it was great. I could do it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, on top of that, I've also decided to pick up painting again, okay. uh, like painting helmets and things like that. I did it for, not a lot of people know that, but I did that for a living for like a year and a half. I was painting a bunch of paintball stuff, which is kind of ironic, but um, I just recently painted a part in my truck and I actually tried to do it professionally. You it did took it right. Me like two and a half, almost three weeks. But goddamn, like when you get that mirror finish, oh, it is so satisfying. Especially when you know you did it all outside with spray paint. <laughs> well, you got an air compressor now, man. Yeah, but fuck it. But you have to get an oilless air compressor if you're going to use a um, in, in line. Brush. Just get an inline catch. Yeah, can do that too. Yeah. You, you also have to get it like an air dryer, which is expensive as fuck, but. It, I think it's more rewarding when you do it all with spray cans because it kind of goes back to my channel mentality of like anyone can do this in their garage type yeah. of thing. So I watched one video on YouTube and I was like, I want to fucking do that. Like this guy, he was a you know known painter, but he's like, can I make a professional paint job with nothing but spray paint? And he showed every single step and every single process. I'm like, I could fucking do that. Well, have you know. seen the uh, the rattle can art in Vegas? Oh, oh yeah. The guys on the, stupid on the street. Easy. But they're making really good looking works yeah. of art with you know on the street yep on the strip in vegas i'm just saying you can there's a lot you can do with spray paint i mean they do usually make their own paint reuse their cans and stuff like that so a little bit of control there a tad bit it's still not air compressor quality though no it, it's not like airbrush yeah quality okay and and uh I will most likely be going back to school to get my bachelor degree in data analytics. That just that sounds terrible. Fucking sounds boring. Yes, but I've been doing it for almost four years now. Yeah. So if I can do it at my own pace, I should be able to knock it out pretty damn quick. Yeah. I I, I am eighty percent confident that my prerequisites are going to take me longer than my advanced courses. Probably. Quote unquote advanced courses. <laughs> oh yeah. My wife is, uh, she just had to take an Excel course for her degree. And oh my God. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Oh my God. I could have passed that class in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this while uh, hopefully not slacking on my YouTube content and uh, still trying to make babies. babies. You, you know, there's a theory around making babies. <laughs> the best way to do it. You don't try take the village approach. Oh God! And just have her lay there <laughs> when she's ovulating, and then have all your all the guys that you can think of just come over and plant something. It, there's a good chance it will work. Let's see: heart problems, diabetes. <laughs> I'm I'm good, guys. That's just. Thank I you. mean, I mean, I've got a vasectomy, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can sneak through. <laughs> there you go. All right, so Ken, let's hear from you, good sir. So I got the shortest response here <laughs> to this. The biggest man with the shortest response. Yeah, Love it. Love story it. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Re really, I just, you know, I, I want to get out and just do more. Mm -hmm. I want to ride more. I got a new bike. I want I want my wife to go with me more. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I want to take more trips with you guys, meet more people while we're doing this, you know, and actually kind of create some not be, kind of get beyond the the business side of it like i'd like to be able to spend more time with people like moose yeah you know like i'd love to learn how to weld more mm -hmm. you know and he's obviously someone that can teach you that right and you know obviously being him being in dallas and us being here makes it difficult it does make it difficult, Very difficult. but yeah i'd like to i'd like to just do more i mean in kind of everything I want to, you know, get get my weight under control so that I can have my surgery, get rid of this hernia so I don't look like a weirdo. Any, well, a little bit less than... Less of a weirdo. Less of a less weirdo. Less of a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I am completely weird. But yeah, uh, I mean, get my daughter graduated, get her fucking... Out of know, your house. Out of my house, college, <laughs> fucking military, something. So yeah. these are these are my, my goals. I, I want to do more. Awesome. Yeah. It's so funny. You're kind of at op opposite ends of the spectrum. You're like, I just want to go live life. And then all the other ones are like super adult. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, really. I want to get my kid graduated, but I want to have more fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to hunt more. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I got a real simple list. Like, I don't have any great 
expectations of my life. I just want to do more, go ride more, go see more, take a vacation with my wife. I've never taken a vacation, like a true vacation in my life. Like never. And as far as I know, neither has my wife. Hmm. We didn't even have a really have a honeymoon. No. So I got pink eye. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're into freaky shit like y'all are. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. Those are the hazards. Buttholes get that, put on pillows, that, man. <laughs> yes. That, that's those are the hazards you deal with. <laughs> so, yeah. So those are my, my 2020 things. And I'd like to do a lot of that on the on the bike. I yeah. mean, pack up the bike. I got the luggage for it now. Mm-hmm. And fucking go. That's, that's really, that's where I'm at in my life. Cool. Cool. Oh, that should be interesting. We should all write down our odometers. Let's see who rides most. This Seven. Year. Yeah, mine. Mine came with thirty-six. Yeah. We'll just round y'all's down to zero. I'll but write I, but I'm but I'm tra- <laughs> but my mileage is tracked on my oh, uh, your HD, HD Connect. Connect. Okay. So it knows where I'm at. I'm just that's kind of the best way to get people out and riding is you know make it a competition. Make it a competition. Oh, yeah. yeah, they got little challenges on there. On the HD Connect, the yeah. local rides. We need yeah. to reach out to uh, Motorcycle Men. They do a a big challenge every year where you get a team together for each podcast and you pick team members, basically. I think it's over like the course of a month and they basically see who has the most miles. I think we'd have a huge advantage in that just because of where we live. Yeah. I mean, we can just take a trip to Dallas and back and, I mean... And knock out 450 miles or so. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like this Time, weekend. You times know. three. Because <laughs> it's it's, oh, it's all accumulated. Oh, accumulated. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like me and Hasso this weekend. Yeah. He's taking his kid back to college, and he's like, we could ride, and we'll figure it out, and we'll ride. Hey, there you go. You're going to A&M, so it's not that difficult, really. I mean, it's two and a half hours there and back. Yeah. So, it's better than sitting at home. I wasn't going to do anything Sunday. Well... I mean, I was going to work on my bike, but <laughs> there's now that. that'll have to wait. Yeah. Oh, darn. All right. So let's move into this episode's closing argument. Next week, we will be discussing the 2020 International Motorcycle Show in Dallas. So what was the favorite thing you saw at the event? Those super low profile uh, helmets. The smallest DOT approved helmet. <laughs> The micro, the micro helmets, the micro dots, the yeah. micro dots. Yeah, that's what they were, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. Nothing, huh? <laughs> no, okay. No, just, <laughs> I need to just. I need to find I mean, some uh, sound clips of uh, crickets chirping. <laughs> that won't be drop that in here. I mean, the Pan America was kind of cool, but okay, it was in a box, so. Yeah. What's in the box? I couldn't get any good shots of it. Couldn't, no, couldn't touch they, it. They, they didn't even have any reflection. Clean. Was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ken. What about you? My favorite thing that I saw at IMS this year was those two monkeys. Okay, the father. So and the son. father and son. I stepped outside oh, yeah. to smoke, <laughs> and I saw and I, they, the two monkeys were sitting there, and these two guys walked out, and they walked over the bikes, and he started it up, and I was like, "Oh, that's different. That's not <laughs> a stock bike." So I'll go and I was talking to him and yeah, they, they had already done their stage one. And so the Honda monkey, for those who don't know, it only goes like 45 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. It's the same as the Honda Grom, just a different body fairings and all that. So they only do like 45 on a good day. Well, they had the stage one done. They had the Acropovic exhaust and their intake and, you know, tune and everything. And they already got them up to 80, but they were saying that this summer, they're getting the big bore kits in, and they'll do over a hundred. What What's the CC on the big bores? I have no idea. Cause I'm just thinking, because like, if Cause they're, they're going up to two fifty, because they're only one fifty, one twenty four. They might be one fifty. I think they're one fifties yeah. to start, or one forty nine, whatever. I'm just thinking, because like the size difference between a two fifty and a four fifty is negligible. It's a lot more weight, but the size area is about the same. Yeah. So I'd be curious if you could see if like you could find like a a, a totaled Grom and a total like CRF four fifty X or something oh, like that. And yeah. Put a four fifty dirt bike motor in a Honda Grom. That'd be terrible. <laughs> we should do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that sounds like something that's completely stupid. I think we definitely should. Absolutely. Do it. We've got all the tools at our disposal now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, but yeah those, that, I mean, that was great. You know, I, I could see two. I mean, I really like the look of the monkey as a father so and cool. son out there enjoying enjoying their time 
Yeah. On their on their complete you know, already tricked out monkeys doing over eighty on those fucking things. <laughs> they're not made for that. And then they're talking about, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take it up to the big boar kit and it'll be it'll be over hundred miles an hour. Like I no. I couldn't imagine doing hundred miles an hour in that tiny little thing. It'd be terrifying. Get terrifyingly awesome. You know you'd have a fucking smile on your face the whole time. It'd be like roadblock on my wife's <laughs> mini bike. Yeah. 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 Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> For me, my favorite thing there, <laughs> and as soon as I say it, y'all are going to start laughing. Booth babes. Was that one booth babe. <laughs> Wait, at the, the, the wreck bike one? Yeah. The, those three or four that was there? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Not, not the one talking about porn as part of her name. It was. But it was. Wait, what? Yeah, her, yeah. she had porn in her name. Yeah, wanna porn or something. She's yeah. oh, half okay. high, half white. And white. Yeah. But no, it was one of the girls from there in these skin tight fucking dresses that was trying to get on the wheelie bike. Yeah. Oh, was it the one in the stupid helmet? I, I yeah. have footage of that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I have footage of it too. But that was my favorite thing. Just because she was trying so hard oh. to maintain modesty. Yeah. She took her jacket off and wrapped it around her waist so no one could see that she wasn't wearing any underoos. I mean, it was it was hilarious. But what the hell is that? <laughs> what, what the hell is that? <laughs> Daddy, uh, Daddy, uh. <laughs> so that was my favorite moment from IMS, uh, the show itself. But uh, we'll, we'll go into IMS a little bit more next week's episode. Thank you for tuning in to Between Two Wheels podcast. To see the show notes for this and all of our episodes, to find links to our social media and Patreon page where we are raising money for Project Clean Slate, head over to our website at www.betweentwowheels.com. The two is spelled out T-W-O. On behalf of Justin, Uncle Ken, I am Johnny Roblox saying, be yourself unless you're a jerk. Then be someone better. Peace. Uh, uh, uh,